Right. Let's go. Eight. I don't know if it is eight. I'm saying eight, and it's eight now. It did in Todd Cannon. It's eight. Is Earth-like world with a v I was going to say majority, but I don't know what majority is. With a variety of inhabitable land, ranging from deserts to jungles to tundra. It also possesses flat rings, as unusual feature for a non-gas for a non-giant planet. Oh, it's not a big one. It's not a big boy. The rings contain rocks up to a meter in length. No wide dust cloud that stretches almost 23,000 kilometers from the center of the planet. This impressive celestial, <laughs> celestial phenomenon, however, is dwarfed by the fact that Ait's largest moon, <laughs> Litai, 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 it's the largest moon, all right, just call it moon, it's no moon. He's in an unstable orbit, whoa, which is predicted to impact the planet within the next two centuries. Maybe don't make this planet your home then. Uh, knowing that any Itian, Itian, yeah, venture is living on borrowed time, colonial population and investment has been orders of magnitude less than other garden worlds. I'm not surprised. Adrastia is the disputed capital. 0.88G, so there's going to be a bit of like belty style expanse. You ever seen the expanse? Um, their bones will be slightly weaker than Earthborn. Or, you know, 1G or higher. Hmm, interesting. Take us in, Edie. We have to take Mrs. Cerberus. I mean. Last time I took Mrs. Cerberus, it was to open her eyes to the horrors of what Cerberus do. Uh, it didn't work. It, it really backfired. And now, now I'm torn. Because technically this is a Cerberus project, so we should be taking Jacob. I don't want to. Very tempted to take Jack, but... I think that might be a little too much. I mean, Jack and Miranda together when... Um, well, you know what happened with Jack. And I have a, a very strong feeling of what's going to happen with Miranda. I don't think they should be on the same mission right now. And I may have accidentally led Tally on. I think it's got to be Tally, though. I trust Tally. I... I haven't taken Tally out for a while, so it'd be good to get her off the ship. She said that her infection was fine. Garrus is in the middle of calibrations. We're going to take Tally. And she's got her drone, and she's she's got AI, and she's got energy drain. Energy drain is good against shields, right? Yeah. She takes from... Oh, it's a 12 second recharge time? That's ridiculous. But she's topping her shields up by 50%. Okay, and then we can do AI hacking, which might come in handy. She's got a drone, which is cool. Miranda's got overload, and then we've got a bit of warp and slam. Slam, I believe. Uh, you can do slam to initiate the biotic explosion, and then you can pop it with warp, like you do with pull, I think. Although that says pull or singularity. But that's who we're going with anyway. didn't love that. Let's mix it up a little bit, because we do have the Locust. I'm tempted to go Grenade Launcher just for a change.
Um, shields, barriers, and armor. Armor, shields, and bi biotic barriers. Yeah, let's go with that. Stick with the counterfacts. We're obviously sticking with the locust. Miranda is good with the temp. Yeah, she's good. Tally, yeah, I kind of like Tally with the gas shotgun. That's good. Drop us in. I think we're in the tank. Here we are. It doesn't have that much up thrust. I'll be honest. That would have that would have cut out if I was using it. Oh, that's not good. Explain the details later, but you must retract that transmission dish. The controls aren't far from your position. You have to hurry. Why can we not see the ring? Oh, the music is sinister already, isn't it? Oh. Why, hello, power ammo. Hmm. Yeah. We got a VI breakout. We dealt with one of them. Well, I dealt with one of them on Luna. Oh, how many ammo do we have? 19. Only 19? Well, that's a shame. Have we leveled up our warp ammo? I think we have. Cool looking mountains. This is quite a nice place for a... I mean, it's a doomed facility, but this is quite a nice place for a facility. And remember, we're bringing Miranda to open her eyes up to how terrible Cerberus is. But also, hopefully, to open doors and get more information about the project. Because... Sorry, and uh, my eyes wandering to certain assets. Um, I can't help it. I'll be honest. She's a very attractive character model. I'm not messing around. If you've got a VI problem. Why are they Geth on the loose? Please watch yourself. And I'm not a friend. Be advised. This is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon entry and checked with security personnel on duty. Christ. Why Geth? Be advised. This is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon Why Geth? Didn't, um... Throw should have broken that. Not seeing any gear. Stay alert, people. Status report. Please inform the elusive man that we've made great strides in our research. His doubts about the lack of progress are unwarranted. A demonstration is forthcoming. What? That doesn't mean he's a good guy, Miranda. Well, the doors are opening. Oh, this music is so sinister. I'm not seeing any gas. Can I not take a pistol upgrade from that? No? How are we doing on credits? Oh god, we're not even halfway towards what I want. Uh, how about... no. Did you see? That explodes with green particles. That doesn't seem... good. Memo to all project personnel. I understand there's some concern about handling life, Geth. I uh. it's a risk, but the potential reward is far greater. Someday your sons and daughters will thank you. Uh, Tally, you, you want to tell them about using live Geth? That's cool.
That's not creepy at all. I don't like this. I don't like being thrown into situations like this, and I don't think this is going to end well. Uh, no. I missed. It definitely sounds gay. The mutterings. This is an automated security update. Thanks. Why are you using live geth? How did I miss that the first time? That's geth. Are we going to see geth? What? I don't like these cameras. It has a sheen. We're going hard. We go. Ow! Uh, no, that one. Did we pop it off the other side? I think we did. They should soften them up. Nice, nice shot. I've been a bit ballsy on this mission. It's almost like I'm showing off to... I mean, I'll take it. Showing off to the ladies. I want that camera gone. I might have to switch to my assault rifle as well. Knew that was going to happen. Geth with flamethrowers. Who thought it was a good idea to give the Geth flamethrowers? Flamethrowers. What's ammo just doing lying there? This is a nice sofa. This is a nice viewing area. Oh, you can kind of see the ring. Talk to me. Personnel. Congratulations on your hard work. Tomorrow we make the next leap forward. It'll be a great day for Cerberus and an even greater day for humanity. Yeah, that's what they said about walking on the moon. I guess we're going to the tram. I feel like we're being set up somehow. That's where we want to go. I don't think I've missed anything. Like, there's got to be upgrades and things in this, still. Just, just you know, in the cafe, in the little little cafe area, there's a coffee machine, an oven, sink, chopping board, a couple of knives. Oh yeah, and a crate of heavy ammo. Because that just makes perfect sense. Right, let's push on. We need to get this stopped. Stop this VI. VI seem to be pretty bad when you uh, uncouple them from their shackles and put the geth into them. I feel like that's going to be a copyright strike. Or claim. Maybe not strike. 
So let's get away from the music as soon as possible. You never heard it, I never heard it. I might even edit it out. Where's the time? Hmm, potentially. We're gonna get attacked. And blow the satellite up. Joker, hit the satellite. Cerberus can build another one. He's giving me a lot of power cells that I don't need. And I need money more than power cells at this point, because we're fairly powerful. Enemy. I had a feeling. <laughs> boom. No boom. There's always time for looting. This is Project Overlord with an emergency message to you. Cerberus Command. We've experienced a catastrophic security failure and are requesting assistance. We... What do you mean our outgoing comms are jammed? How can it do that? Attention. Satellite broadcast window is open. We need to push this. We need to push this hard. Yeah, this is, is safe. Absolutely safe. What does it retract into? Nothing. Ouch! Enemy down. Pretty sure we've talked about that. <clears throat> That shouldn't have hit there. Keep me covered. Yeah, I no. That's actually quite straightforward. There's four of them for a change, but that's quite straightforward. Uh, there's going to be care. There's going to be a big old care. The destroyers with flamethrowers that I truly don't like. Nice hit. Trouble ahead. I'm, I'm a little concerned that I have. Jesus. Was she AI hacked it? I don't know, maybe. Wow, we um we burned through all of our limited ammo there. Can I reload at least? Thank you. I'm gonna stick with this for now. Although that was very handy for longer range targets. We need to cut this feed. The Joker just shoot the satellite. You need to destroy the support struts now. They have their own capacitors. Try blowing them up. Ow. Jesus. I might need to go range for this. Well, I mean, just shoot this. Jesus.
Moved right through its shield. Yeah, that's how we roll. Everybody else up? Push. I just saw Tally taking shots. I'm gonna get lit up by that guy. Oh, we need to get off here. We need to get off here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was close. Run. You've gotta be kidding. The whole thing's giving away. Like, this is the kind of cinematic stuff that I love from Massive Effect. Over here! What the hell is going on around here? Yeah. The man's reach exceeding his grasp. Come on, I'll explain. You better. <laughs> that, that went boom. <laughs> Mission complete. Transmission date dish destroyed. Yeah, you could say that. Um, surviving scientist located. 250 XP. It's not going to get us another level. Bit of credits. Bit of palladium. You have my thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. Who are you again? Who did you say you were? Dr. Gavin Archer, chief scientist at this facility, and probably the only one left. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. I'd hate to see what you'd call a disaster. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed. At least, partially. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. What? He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. What's the worst case scenario? Why? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extra net, who knows where it would end. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. That's a pretty big outcome. The abomination David has become. David, the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. Okay. How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. Course. What happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. That wasn't a very good, good picture, was it? What went wrong with the experiment? This is so bad. David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but... With artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you'd never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would Very the different. be then? Very different. Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. Tell me about the Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. Great. We use them for our experiments. You morons. You absolute morons. 
What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. Stupid. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. I'm sick of you now. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. You're a moron. Your brother worries me. This whole thing worries me. I wouldn't fit in one of them. I guess we're going. Which one are we going to first? Can he hack the hammerhead? Commander, you need to find Vulcan and Prometheus stations and override the lockdown from each facility. It doesn't matter which one you hit first, but you can't enter Atlas Station until you've dealt with both. Also, keep an eye out for Cerberus security mechs. The Correct. VI has likely taken control of them. Archer out. Geographic conditions indicate an aesthetically pleasing view nearby. Organic life forms may wish to take note. That's pretty nice. Oh, we're, 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 we're pushing the edge a little here. Let me, let me... Stupid vehicle. Mac? Where? Where was that Mac? There's got to be stuff to, to loot or pick up or something here. There has to be. Oh, dragon. That's cool. Well, that's a base of some sort. I thought that these things locked on. It's just not rewarding combat. That was a geth sound afterwards. We can't get out and explore. Obviously not. An emergency Cerberus data packet has been recovered. No. Oh. Yeah. I don't think I want to give it to them. Is that a cave? No. This is a nice looking place. I have to say. And there's there's it's not like an open world, but it's quite a big... Where do you want me to go? We're all fine. We're, we're all fine here. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I can fly over that. I don't feel like this hover works very well. It's like a sparrow from Destiny. It's actually pretty crap. It's 
there anything down there? 